Dawn has come to the strange and disturbing world of Collinwood in parallel time, but no amount of light can disperse the terrors that threaten all who live here. During the night that just ended, a treacherous woman learned the terrible secret of Barnabas Collins, and now she has come to Loomis House, armed with the weapons necessary for his eternal destruction. Barnabas. Where did Hoffman go to? It's dawn. Barnabas is alone. Suppose she were to go there. Well, where's Quentin? Sleeping. Is it true they found out it was Cyrus who took Maggie away? Yes. Where are you going? My house. Can't you stay long enough to tell me what happened? Uh, Quentin or Mrs. Stoddard can explain it to you. Listen to this Jaeger, or whoever Cyrus turned into. Did, did he say anything? I mean, did he explain why he did it before he was killed? I wouldn't know that. Now, if you'll please excuse me. Listen, have you seen Hoffman? She can tell me what happened. No, I haven't seen Hoffman. I've been looking all over for her, and if I find her, I'll tell her that you were looking for her. What are you doing in his house? I, I... I came here on an errand. Wait a minute. There's something different about you. Your hair. And I've never seen you dressed like this before. I was 
on my way to town. Is there anything wrong with that? Where's Will? I said, where's Will? Oh, I, I don't know. He's asleep, I guess. Got to see him. Something happened. I want to borrow some money. Well, you may not be up for hours. Why not come back later? I'm getting out of this place, and I want to get an early start. This place is beginning to get on my nerves. Sending that stupid cottage of mine all by myself. How about you? What do you mean? Well, you've got a lot stacked away. I, I just need a couple of hundred. Uh, how about five? I don't have anything. Oh, come on. That's a laugh. After all that, Angelique and I and, and a couple of others have slipped you for your cooperation. I'm sorry. I don't have anything. I thought we were friends. Oh, we are. Sure. Look, if you see Will, tell him I'm looking for him. Yes. Don't tell him why. All right. Want to know something? What? You don't sound like you. Oh? You don't quite look like you. Strange. I assure you, I am who I am. Sure. But something's different. Maybe it's because we, uh, we haven't run into each other for such a long time. Yes, perhaps that's it. Don't forget to tell Will that I'm looking for him. No, no, I won't. You know, when I looked for you in the house and I couldn't find you, I figured this is where you'd be. Well, I can explain. Oh, there's no need to. But I'm not Hoffman. Well, isn't that interesting? I mean, I'm a friend of Barnaby. I know whose friend you are. Please. Now don't move or I'll shoot. Hoffman's in there. If, if you'll look in there, please. What are you talking about? She's in there. Hoffman's in there. And she's, she's dead. This, but I come from a, a, a different time than you. Julia! You're Dr. Julia Hoffman. You know? Yes, you're the woman who's trying to find a cure for Barnabas in his own time. Yes, but how do you know? He told me. You see, I was writing a book about him uh, for a little while. But how did you get here? The same way that Barnabas did through the time warp in Angelique's room. Barnabas told me that his coffin was here. And, and when I arrived, Hoffman was here? Yes, with, with a, a hammer and a, and a stake. And the coffin was open. I didn't mean to kill her. Oh, well, you'll pardon me if I'm not sorry, eh? But if I had lived in this time, this would have been me. 
I don't understand it, but it feels very strange. Her name was Hoffman, too. Julia Hoffman. Father? Is Hoffman there? Well, have you seen her at all? No, no, I mean this morning. I've looked through the entire house and I can't find her. It frightens me. She called me last night when I was in Bangor and she said that she thought she might have discovered something, possibly about Barnabas. And now that I can't find her, I thought that perhaps Barnabas... Listen, I have to do it. Well, I see you still haven't lost your habit of entering without knocking. Oh, only because the people in this house has never gotten out of the uh, habit of telling me I couldn't come in. <laughs> Look, where's Will? He was here, but he left. Where'd he go? Well, I don't know. I didn't ask him. Where's Quentin? Sleeping, probably. This late, Quentin? Well, after what happened last night, I wouldn't be surprised. Last night? Now, what happened last night? You mean you live here on the grounds and you don't even know? There's a little communications problem between this place and mine. They found Maggie. Oh, was she lost? Apparently, Cyrus Longworth abducted Maggie. <laughs> Cyrus, the uh, mouse with the MD. Uh, do you really expect me to believe that? Well, actually, it wasn't Cyrus. It was a man called John Yeager. And Cyrus helped him drag Maggie out of this house. It's a little more complicated than that, but I can't explain it to you now. Actually, John Yeager and Cyrus were the same person. Sure. Hey, thanks for the uh, clarification. It had something to do with an experiment that he was conducting. Uh, experiment? What did you know about it? Possibly, without realizing it. I was working with him on some things about two months ago. Where is Cyrus now, in jail? No, he's dead. Cyrus? Dead? And so is Sabrina. He killed her. Both of them? Gone? Yes, I'm afraid so. Shame. What a terrible shame. Listen, I meant to ask you, Bruno. Have you seen Hoffman? I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It isn't safe for me to be here, and yet I, I hate to leave him. I think I understand. As a doctor, I've been interested in Barnabas for a long time. Of course. But I don't, I don't know what I can do to protect him here. What is it? Hoffman. What about her? Well, she's been... She's been very close with Angelique. Uh, Alexis is what we call her here. What if Hoffman told her Barnabas' secret before she came here? Ah, oh, no, no, it's all right. She was in Bangor. Oh, she might have phoned. No, but she, she just, no, she just, she didn't act strangely when I just saw her. Well, what are we gonna do? I don't know. She's, she, she might have. What can we do? What, what if she wrote a note? She might have. Could you, could you go and search her room and see if you could find the note? No. But, well, then, could you talk to her? You could tell by the way she was acting, whether she knew what was going on. I about. cannot search her room if she finds me there. Yes. Yes, you're the only one to protect Barnabas. Suppose I pass as Hoffman. You as Hoffman? Why not? Oh, no, you couldn't do it. She'd know you at a glance. I fooled Bruno. I know, but... I'll change you to Hoffman's clothes, and, and, and I'll, I'll fix my hair. And you tell me everything you know about, about Alexis and, and, and about Hoffman and, and everything about that house. It's too risky. I'll have to take that risk. There's money in here. Plenty of it. I've seen it. And the combination's here, someplace. Hey, Cyrus! How about one last payment for uh, past services rendered, huh?
Well, I knew we'd meet sooner or later. Well, well what are you waiting for? I've been dying of curiosity ever since you called. What happened? Oh, I told you on, on, on the phone about Cyrus and Jaeger. Oh, that fool. I should never have, have included him in my plans about Maggie. But I must admit a grudging admiration. A timid Dr. Longworth had a lot more going on than I ever suspected. Yes. I don't want to hear about him. You said you had some important information. What is it? Well, uh, nothing, nothing specific. Well, what do you mean? You told me you'd found something out about Barnabas. Well, not exactly. Hoffman, you know something, and you're going to tell me what it is. Did you follow him the whole time I was gone, as you were instructed to do? Uh, yes, 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 I did. I, I never let him out of my sight. I guess that's what I, what I meant on the phone. He was, Barnabas was, was the first person to find out about Jaeger and Maggie. Cyrus called him. Cyrus? Yes, Jaeger changed to Cyrus, and then, then he telephoned Barnabas. Barnabas went out to the farm, and I started to follow him there, but I, I couldn't go in. I couldn't go after him. I had to conceal myself. It wasn't safe. Where's Barnabas now? Well, he went into town. I started to follow him, but then I thought I, I should come here and report to you. You mean we don't know any more about Barnabas than we did before? No. No, I guess we don't. Oh, what are you waiting for? Start following him again. Let me know if you hear anything at all. Yes, yes, I will. And I'll try to help here. Listen, Julia, we've got to keep in touch with each other this time. Yes, let's. Is it? I know he kept a lot here. Thousands. And nothing but this book. Why aren't you money? Private. In the event of my death, this is to be presented unread to my friend Quentin Collins. She never suspected. No, I don't think so. Come on, you're shaking. Come here, sit down. No, I, I, I'm all right. All right. Now tell me, what about Barnabas? I she, she, she didn't tell her anything. Hoffman never told her anything. Good. good. She, she doesn't know anything of what's been happening. Well, what else did you learn? I guess Alexis and, and Hoffman knew that Jaeger had Maggie. Alexis said that it was it was part of her, her her plan for Maggie. Plan? Plan? What plan? Did she tell you what they were? No, I, I couldn't ask because I, I felt that Hoffman would know. Still, you did a good job. Would you like to change your clothes now? No. No, I'll wear these. What, what, is, what do you mean, you? She thought I was Hoffman. And so did Bruno. If I go on being Hoffman... Oh, my word, what are you... You got away with it for a few minutes. You couldn't continue. It's worth a try. You'll slip sooner or later. No, no, I'll do my best not to. No, it is the perfect way to find out exactly what Alexis is doing. It's not the perfect way she'll find you out! Right? It's not perfect. But I've got to try. But I don't understand. How can you do this for Maggie Collins, someone you don't even know? I'm doing it for Barnabas, not for Maggie. <laughs> Did I say there was no money in that safe? <laughs> it's more than I expected. And I intend to get it all. <laughs> my dear. This is Bruno. Oh, Bruno, you ran off today in such a hurry. Where'd you go? Oh, well, I had a very busy afternoon. Very, very busy. Doing what? Oh, various things, visiting old friends, gathering information. Bruno, you're trying to tell me something. What is it? My, my, you're 
You're very perceptive, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Now tell me something I don't know. What would you say if uh, I told you that I know who murdered Angelique?